Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at a mod that's going to make your in-game player really big. We're going to be testing this on Minecraft Education, but it works absolutely fine on Bedrock 2. We're going to look at how to install and how to use it. Here we go. Okay, so here we are back in MCPEDL. We're on the giant player add-on. The link for this website is going to be in the description for this video. And I love this one because we just click here. It says the giant player add-on file and it just works. There's no adverts or anything like that. Um, I always get people saying they can't get past the ads often on these mod videos and this one hasn't got any. Um, so just click on the link and it downloads straight away. Now, uh, my version um, as always, it's already installed on here, so it does say it's failed to install because of a duplicate pack detected. Um, however, this will work fine for you. So let's find out how this thing works. We're going to uh, start a new world. We're going to go to, um, let's go down to resource packs and just install this on here. And then there it is, the giant player add-on, activate. And of course, uh, we do want to do the same for behavior packs too. So we'll go down to behavior packs and activate it there as well. It needs to be activated in both. We'll click play and let's jump into the world and see how this, uh, how this looks. So our player should be significantly bigger. Not sure how much bigger exactly, but let's, um, let's get something for comparison. Let's get a horse. Um, I think we need to go out into third person mode, uh, F5 and, uh, wow. Yeah. So it's really quite a bit bigger than it was before. The horses were about the same size as the players before. So that's pretty good. Um, it's big, isn't it? I think we need to, that looks really funny. Let's drag in um, a few more animals. Let's get a, what's this, a donkey. Let's summon in a donkey and get on the donkey. The donkey's even smaller, it looks crazy. Uh, oh, I've walked into a tree. That's not good. Let's, let's find a, an area away from the tree to summon the donkey. Nice, so yeah, there's the donkey. Now, let's, what else can we do? I, I wanna go to an area uh, a little bit further away, away from all these trees and stuff. So let's go into creative, game mode, C at A, is the quickest way for me. I like to do it that way with the command. Um, hello, sheep. Oops. Right, so let's, um, let's summon a llama. Get off this donkey onto the llama. Um, yeah, llama's pretty cool. I didn't actually know you could ride llamas, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm learning, learning as I go. What else can we ride? Um, I think the smallest thing we could ride. Well, let's check. Let's see how um, items look first. So let's, um, we'll probably ride a pig later on. But let's see if, ah, okay. So the sword is also big. It's as big as the player. That's interesting. I wonder if it kind of does more damage or anything like that. Um, let's head over here. Sorry, sheep. Yeah, it kind of feels more like it's doing more damage. Although a diamond sword against a sheep is a bit of an unfair fight. Chicken too. See a chicken. Um, let's get a creeper. Let's drag a creeper in here for a size comparison. Yeah, it's tiny, isn't it? Okay, what is, what's a big entity that we can get in? Um, let's get a guardian. No, let's get... I don't even know what this is. What have I summoned here? Um, this thing makes a crazy noise, I don't know what it is, but anyway, I imagine this would be a pretty difficult creature to get into a fight with um, if we went, wow. Okay, we go to our, our inventory and the character model's so big it doesn't fit in the, uh, in the window there. Let's get some armor on. Does the armor work fine? I don't know, let's stick it in there. Looks good to me. I think all the armor and items and stuff are matched to size. So let's do this, um, let's do this pig. Let's see if we can get a pig. So, uh, we need a saddle to tame our pig if we want to ride it. And we need a carrot on a stick um, to guide it in the right direction. Come over here, pig. Let's get this carrot. Let's go into third person. <laughs> that looks, that poor pig is not very happy. So we've got the carrot on the stick leading the pig around. We've got a gold armor. I think that's a good look. I think it works well. Let's get a mule in here. Whoa, that's tiny. I didn't know mules were that small. That's too small. Is that like a baby mule or something? I don't know what a baby mule is even called. Um, I can't ride it. I want to ride. I want to get on this mule. I can't put this, the saddle on it. What's a no if I just summon a, okay, this is a normal size mule. Let's get on this. It doesn't want us on. Um, 
I get the carrot on the stick. Is it interested in the carrot? Well, the pig's interested, of course. Oh, I wish I could ride that little mule. That would have been awesome. Um, well, guys, I think we'll um, I think we'll finish up there. I think you can see that uh, it's a pretty interesting mod. It's pretty straightforward. It makes your character bigger, and it leaves everything else the same size. But items, let's ride around on this pig a bit more. But the items and the armor will match the size. I think it does make you a little bit stronger, um, which is probably useful. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out more videos of some different mods tested in Minecraft Education and tested in Bedrock Edition. And um, I'll do a few of these for the iPad as well because uh, there is a way to get these working on the iPad. And um, I've had a few people in the comments asking about that. All right, so let's finish up there. I will see you guys all later in the week. Bye.